Volume profile for noobs. What is volume profile? We're used to seeing volume on the bottom of our chart, which is volume over time. A volume profile is different. It's a histogram on the side of our chart that shows us volume over price. It simply shows us where the market is interested in doing business. When we look at a completed profile, there are three key landmarks we need to find. The value area. This is the fat part of the profile, typically where 70% of all trading occurred. This is the market's primary fair value zone. The point of control, POC. This is the single price level with the most volume. It's the fairest price in the entire session. The tails, or volume tapers. These are the thin valleys at the top and bottom. These are rejection zones, showing us where the market considers the price unfair. So how do we use this? The main reason we use volume profile is to quickly see if the market is in balance or imbalance. This is the acceptance versus rejection concept, just with simpler terms. Balance is acceptance. The market accepts the current value area as fair. Imbalance is rejection. The market rejects that old value area and goes searching for a new one. The easiest way to track this in real time is the map versus the car analogy. The map is a previous completed value area. This is our established fair value zone. The car is today's live developing price. Now we just watch where the car is driving. If the car is trading inside the map, that previous value area, the market is in balance. It is accepting those prices. When a market is in balance, it tends to rotate, meaning it's often a good strategy to trade back and forth between the edges of that value area. If the car starts to leave the map, the previous value area, the market is an imbalance. It is rejecting that old fair value and searching for a new value area. This is where you look for a breakout or a new trend to form, as the market is on a mission to find a new fair price. And that's the core of it. Volume profile isn't some magic signal. It's a tool for context. It stops you from guessing. It allows you to ask one simple question at any time. Is the market in balance, accepting the old value? Or is it in imbalance, rejecting that old value to find a new one? Once you can answer that, you have your bias and you can build a solid trading plan.